Today, I'm sharing with you a super simple breathing exercise that you can do straight out of yoga that is going to help cinch and pull in your waist and activate your deep core muscles. We do this at the beginning of my trim core routine three times a week and a lot of women notice a big difference. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do just the stomach vacuum, but if you want to see the complete routine, just comment workout below and I'll send it to you or tap the link around this video and you can see what the full routine is all about. So what you're gonna do is get in a comfortable seated position. You could put a pillow underneath your hips if you need anything like that. Take a deep breath in. I want you to try this with me, okay? Unless you're pregnant, breathe all the way out. Then pull your tummy up and in. as if you're trying to suck your stomach right up underneath your rib cage, okay? And I like to push down, so let's try that again. Big breath in, all the air out, then pull up. And hold your breath. Looks weird, okay? But I teach you how to do it in all kinds of positions. Don't mind all the toys behind me. I have a toddler from all fours, from standing. Um, all fours is great because you can really let the belly relax fully and then do your vacuum and pull everything up and in and you're squeezing and holding tight, tight, tight and then releasing. It's best not to do after you've had a big meal, like I had chili about two hours ago, so that's not too bad, but it's best in the morning or like right before you're gonna eat so your stomach's nice and empty. And I'm really passionate about core work and helping women in this area um, because I feel like naturally I've always held more fat on my stomach, I would say. Um, I kind of gain weight evenly, I'm pretty lucky, but after having a C-section and you know, becoming a mother and a lot of women around me becoming mothers, I really noticed a lot of areas that us women aren't getting the right support in. And the core was one of them, but doing it in a way, doing it in a way that's very slow. Like if you start at the basics, that is the best thing you can do. Like if you haven't worked out in a while or you haven't really done specific core work in a long time, starting with this is going to make such a big difference in a lot of things. It's going to help your breathing. It's going to help your posture. It's going to help your core strength and the way that your stomach looks. It's going to help with pelvic floor. It's going to help um, just really pull everything in and give you that long, lean look. Um, while being strong and healthy. And it even has four minutes of HIIT cardio at the end of every workout that still focuses on the core. But that HIIT is just like a little, like a little rocket ship to your metabolism. So it helps your metabolism burn at an elevated rate for a longer period after your workout, which means it's still burning calories. But I don't find that it spikes your hunger level the same way it does if you go for a 30 minute run. Like if I go out for a 30 minute jog and I'm doing that consistently, I'm very hungry. And it's much easier to overeat because you're feeling really hungry from an increase in exercise than it is to just burn a few more calories but not be spiking your appetite. And that's what I find happens with a lot of women when they do traditional cardio is if they're doing it for longer periods of time, they get hungrier and then they end up eating more. So yes, their heart's getting healthier and that's great and their lung capacity and I'm not saying there isn't benefits, it's just the time versus reward exchange and the things that I think help us to stay at a healthier lower body weight have a lot more to do with not eating as much because so many of the foods that we eat nowadays are very high in calories very high in fats very high in um, carbohydrates right and that of course is gonna affect our stomach like I see so many posts out there being like I did this one core move and now my stomach is snatched or flat and I'm just like it's not that one core move because there are women who trust me are so strong in their core, 
if they lost the fat over top of their body, they would have a six pack. Do you know what I mean? But you can't see it if there's fat over top. So the fat over top of your body is just as important when it comes to the way that it looks and to our health as well as the muscle underneath. So protecting that muscle and making sure that we are not overeating, all of those things come into play with the stomach. I love the breath work. We do corset core training, deep core training. We do strengthening for the back. The trim core challenge really is the perfect little thing you can throw in there. I mean, even with the kids going back to school, everybody's getting back on routine. All it is is three 15 minute workouts a week for eight weeks. That's it. It's so easy to commit to. You have it right on your phone is how you access it. Just press play and I guide you through a 15 minute workout that is perfectly designed to help slim and flatten the stomach, cinch your waist, get your posture on point, boost your flexibility, improve your posture. I already said posture, but I think we forget how much posture affects the way we look and also has that four minute cardio spike. It's fun, it's great. And best of all, it gets women results in less than an hour a week of time. It gets women results. Like once you start seeing the changes, it's so motivating and you get a new video every week. So you don't get like stagnant and like, Ugh, I don't want to do this again. Like you're only doing that workout three times. Then you get a brand new workout to do and it's fun and it's harder and it's different. And there's things about it that you might like or don't like, but it's only for one week. And I really progressively build the challenge in. And that's why you keep getting better and better and better results because I'm not just like, okay, we're you know, gonna do this same workout video for six weeks and not have progression. You have to have progression to see change. And that is something that um, I was really passionate about with Yoga Burn is I wanted a program that women could follow along with that gets them to an end result where they feel amazing. And I wanna do it in a way that saves time and money and makes your life better. And that is exactly what all the yoga burn programs do, but today we're talking about trim core. Um, I would love to walk you through a workout. I have tons of free sample workouts too. I feel like I'm due to make a new video. So like this video, if you wanna see a new live workout, I could totally do a 15 minute summer core workout with you. I would love to do that. It's been a long time. And um, yeah, I think you're gonna love the trim core challenge and I can't wait to get you started. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go wake up my baby from his nap and move on with the rest of my day. I already did my core work. I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling good. Thanks, Debbie. We can't wait to get you started. We'll see everybody soon. Big hugs, lots of love, bye-bye.